Let's talk about what could be the most explosive issue of this campaign if the mass media would get a hold of it and do something about it, but they're covering it up. And that is the, you, you were talking about the government involvement in drugs. Uh, there have been government investigations, there have been private investigations, and we've interviewed a lot of people, ex-CIA uh, people, who have talked about the CIA involvement in drug operations for many decades. It's public knowledge, though once again the media are not saying anything about it, that Oliver North and his people involved with the, the Contras have been running drug operations, cocaine primarily, bringing it back into the United States. And there are other uh, investigations which show that George Bush's office, Donald Gregg particularly, and the people he was working with, have been uh, supervising an enormous drug operation which once again was bringing, sending uh, illegal arms or down to uh, the Contras and elsewhere and bringing cocaine and other types of drugs back into the United States. But neither the Democrats aren't talking about this. Now, are the Libertarians talking about this and do they put this into the framework of the drug law situation that you're talking about? Uh, we talk about a whole lot. Of course, we always have the trouble of getting the attention that we think it deserves. There have been a few Democrats have talked about it. Senator Kerry's office has Kerry, done some work He's on done it. a lot of the investigation. Right, and uh, I think he's on to something, and I think we've gotten some other information, too, of course, that uh, George or the CIA has given the Noriega over the years $200,000 a year. Oh, yes. And uh, they kept feeding him money, even when uh, Bush was the head of the CIA. Mm -hmm. I think uh, George Bush is uh, deep into it, well over his head. Somebody asked me once of, uh, if I thought George Bush knew about as much what was going on as, as Ronald Reagan. I think George Bush knew a lot more about what was happening in the CIA because I think uh, Reagan was probably more removed from it. I mean, just by his own personality and maybe his age or something. Uh, but I think George Bush, through his office and through the, and through the fact that he was a member of this, you know, head of the CIA, I think he was very, very close to it. He knows exactly what was happening. And I believe the rule that once a CIA member, always a CIA member. And I think it's awful interesting. Can you imagine it would alarm a few of us in this country if all of a sudden we knew that the leader in the Soviet Union would be the head KGB agent. <laughs> and mm -hmm. here we take our head CIA agent and put him, you know, potentially the head of our entire country. Unfortunately, I wish that we could get this information out uh, and I continue to talk about it, but I sadly believe that there will be very little said, which means that the Democrat aren't doing it, that means they're involved too. They're involved also. And uh, yeah. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I mean, it was uh, even, some of it got reported in the Iran-Contra scandals. We did know that there were uh, drugs, being, drugs involved and, and they were selling uh, drugs back and forth. I think that might be the number one reason uh, for the drug laws. I mean, they use and play on the good people of America to support them, but I think the number one reason is not, not to have high prices for some uh, two-bit drug dealer as much as to raise the funds necessary to for governments to do illegal things, whether it's some terrorist government someplace or whether it's our own CIA to fund programs that they can't get Congress to fund. Uh, I think it's tragic and uh, the sooner we get rid of the drug laws, uh, the sooner this would end.